Well, staying with the theme of celebration and hope, some of our London landmarks are being given a floral makeover for that very reason. The aim is simply to cheer people up and you can even pick some of them to take home, as Wendy Hurrell explains. Bursting out of phone boxes on Great Windmill Street in the West End, bundles of cheery flowers, the sort of curious and impressive sight hard to pass by unobserved. And the same thing has happened here in Piccadilly Circus. As you walk up from Leicester Square to the Statue of Eros, it looks as normal. But as you come round the corner, there's an explosion of colour and blooms. The displays appeared overnight, arranged by florist Lewis Miller, who's been invited over from America to brighten London streets after months of subdued atmosphere. Flowers bring you happiness, flowers bring you joy. I'm a strong believer that flowers can affect your mental health and really like you know make life better so I'm doing this with the Flower Council of Holland and we need more flowers so anywhere I can put flowers that's that's my that's my thing that's my job. Around a thousand flower flashes as Lewis calls them guerrilla style floral art installations have popped up in New York City earning him the title Botanical Banksy. This time he's collaborated with British florist to the Royals. The moment you put a few flowers out, you watch and see other people's reactions and they are just uplifted by these blooms. And we need that more than ever. More than ever. And I think we've really noticed florists have been busy during lockdown sending bunches, which is really a floral hug that we haven't been able to give. So this is now we're giving London a floral hug and take a flower. We want them to take a selfie and take a flower. Apparently New Yorkers are not shy to collect armfuls. It took a morning of polite reserve for the idea to take off here. <gasps> That's beautiful. Can I pick one for my sister? Yes, you can. Of course you can. And friends were made. You don't know each other, do you? No, we don't know each no, other, so we know. just uh, <laughs> meet here and we sit in the same country, from the same country, which is nice. Yeah. Pleasure <laughs> meeting you. <laughs> Where are you from? Saudi Arabia. Sorry. When I saw the flower, it just attracted me and captured me, so I came to take the photo for a flower for my wife and the rest and all the people. Well, this is a lovely moment. You've been united. you found each other because of the flowers. Yeah, yeah sure. for the flower, yeah. <laughs> this is one of the reason. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there are just a few more hours to grab a selfie and some stems. Pigeons and picnics will return to the Shaftesbury Memorial Fountain soon. But for now, the floral spectacle encourages smiles and jollity. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London. I love that. Cheered me up.